Welcome back everyone to Frilgen Reactions. Today we're going to be talking about what's new in watchOS 7. Here we go. So let's start. Watch OS 7, take on the day, and bring on the night. So, in new in Watch OS 7 is watch faces. So, the Chronograph Pro has a tack meter with room for customization. Extra large gets rich complications. Photos give you color filters to add to any picture, and there are more ways to show your pride. Now, any app can offer many complications, so you can create the ultimate face for anything. If you're a surfer, you can get the swell size, water temperature, or wind speed from a single app. And there are powerful new complications for anything you would want to do on your Apple Watch. You can also face share now. So you can share faces you've created by texting, emailing, or posting a link online. So anyone that can get your own watch face for their Apple Watch. Pretty cool. You can find watch faces in the App Store and get faces online right to your Apple Watch. And the Sleep app. Finally, sleep tracking is on the watch. And it's one of the most important aspects of your health, but also the least understood. When you go to bed, your watch automatically turns on, do not disturb, and keeps your screen from waking. You can put your watch to work before you nod off. You can see a sleep analysis chart every morning showing how much you've slept in the past week. And Apple Watches uses accelerometers to notice the subtle movements associated with breathing and differentiate between sleeping and waking states. You can get bedtime reminders and more wake up sounds. And wind down assists you in establishing a bedtime routine with shortcuts to help you relax like opening meditation app and dimming your lights. And you start your morning off with the weather report and battery levels. And if you get up before your alarm, you'll be asked if you want to turn your alarm off. And if your battery is below 30% in your bedtime, you'll get a reminder to charge. If you charge after waking up, you'll get an iPhone notification when you're at 100%. On your iPhone, you can manage your sleep schedule, view sleep trends over time, and see how consistently you're meeting your sleep goals. Now let's talk about fitness on the Apple Watch. Four new workouts give you an exercise partner with even more flexibility. Now you can accurately track your fitness metrics for dance, functional strength training, core training, and even post-workout cool down. And it's a full body workout that's good for your heart, makes stronger and improved coordination. The joy of dance. So dance like nobody's watching and get credit for it on your Apple Watch. Now, the fitness app is more in tune with the ways you move. You can view activity, workouts, awards, and activity trends data on a single page. Looking for some healthy rivalry? See your activity competitions and activity sharing information all in one place. Now let's talk about cycling and maps. Your watch already taps you on the wrist when it's time to turn, making it great for bike rides. You can get rolling with maps that show elevation changes, bike lanes, and busy roads. If you need a pick-me-up or pit stop, you can search for nearby places like cafes or bike shops and add them to your route. You can choose the one that works for you, fastest, shortest, or suggested. If your route requires getting off your bike, you'll see instructions like dismount and walk or take the stairs. Now let's talk about hand washing on the Apple Watch. Keeping your hands clean has never been more important. With WatchOS 7, Apple Watch automatically detects you begin washing your hands and helps you keep going for the amount of time recommended by global health organizations. Using its motion sensors and microphone, Apple Watch automatically detects hand washing and starts a 20 second timer. If your watch detects that you've stopped washing your hands early, it will encourage you to continue for the full 20 seconds. Apple Watch can remind you to wash your hands when you get home. Now let's talk about Siri updates on WatchOS 7. Siri is fundamental to the Apple Watch experience. Now you can get spoken translations from Siri. It's simple as raising your wrist and asking, how do you say hello in Japanese? And the answer is right there for you. And Siri on Apple Watch can translate into 10 different languages. Dictation is now processed on Apple Watch, making requests faster and more reliable. And now you have a quicker way to run shortcuts you've created on your iPhone. You can either add them as complications on your watch face. Now let's talk about hearing health. To protect hearing, WatchOS 6 introduced the Noise app. 
Now, Apple's giving you more ways to keep your hearing safe as well as more control over how you listen. Get notified and have your headphone volume reduced to safe levels when you reach the World Health Organization's recommended safely weekly listening dose. See how long you've listened to high decibel sounds each week in the health app on the iPhone and keep your hearing safe and sound by setting a max headphone volume. WatchOS 7 is compatible with iPhone 6s or later with iOS 14 or later and one of the following Apple Watch models, Apple Watch Series 3, 4, and 5. And that's WatchOS 7, including discovering and sharing faces, new workout types, sleep and hand washing detection, and other new capabilities like Siri language translation. And that's it for WatchOS 7. If you haven't checked out what's new on iOS 14, click the card up there or the link in the description. Also, if you look in the links in the description, you can check out what's new in iPadOS 14 and macOS Big Sur. That's it for today's video. We've been Program Reactions. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace!